Full time at St Mary's and Arsenal's long unbeaten run of 22 games is over. It's Southampton 3, Arsenal 2. You can see three goals to a side like Southampton. You don't really deserve to come away with anything. Uh, and I think defence was definitely where our, our biggest issue was today. You know, the, the unbeaten run was been built on the likes of Holding, Socrates, Mustafi. We were without all of those guys today. We had to start Lichsteiner and uh, Xhaka in a back three. Then in the second half, Be- Bellerin got injured. We had to go to a back four. We ended with Maitland-Niles in the back four as well as Xhaka. I think having Shaka in the defence meant that we missed him in the midfield too. That's Shaka and Torreira have been the hub of the the team during this good run, so we didn't have that. And I think there were just too many building blocks missing. Um, and I think in, when you look at the goals individually, I think the defending was too passive, too sloppy. We allowed crosses into the box. Uh, and I don't think the goalkeeper covered himself in glory, particularly on that third goal where his footwork in the build-up was all over the place. He came, he stayed he tried to come again he didn't get there you know I think Bern Leno he made a fantastic save in the game don't get me wrong um, brilliant header a brilliant save to deny a header from a corner but I think he's been getting away with being pretty poor on crosses actually and I think were he not new were he not the man in favour I think fans might have picked up on that sooner today we did pay the price for it I think that is a weakness that he has in his game uh, hopefully it will improve But I also think, to a certain extent, we have to say they were great crosses, great headers. I mean, those Danny Ings headers were fantastic. I mean, the second one in particular, I couldn't believe it when it dropped into the far post. Outstanding headers. I think Lauren Koscielny would like to have been tighter, probably on both. But, you know, his rustiness is understandable. Um, In the second half, I thought we were better. We were more physically intense. Uh, Although perhaps we sacrificed a bit of that when we brought Meza Ozil on for all his quality. You know, he... I think maybe Ramsey would have been able to match what Iwobi was offering in terms of closing people down uh, and winning the ball back high up the pitch. We sort of stopped doing that, really. Lacazette had kind of inspired that after coming on second half sub, chasing everything, holding the ball up, providing a sort of physical focal point for the attack. But that sort of disappeared in the last 15 minutes. Mkhitaryan will feel hard done by that he scored two goals at last in a game and... Uh, they haven't really mattered for anything. I mean, they've been coming. I think it was a recent match. We had seven shots. You know, he does get in good positions. He does take up good positions. And I thought his header was very good today. Um, obviously, got luck- lucky with the second. And once we got back into it at 2-2, I did think there was probably only going to be one winner. We were pushing on. A uh, couple of half chances came our way. Uh, there was one particularly at 2-1, wasn't there, for a Bamiang from a one-on-one. That was a, a very good save from McCarthy. But, you know, we were pushing on, we were pushing on and we were caught. And Maitland-Niles was caught high up the pitch. Leno was caught, not really certain of his positioning. And Koscielny, I think, was caught looking exhausted, which, you know, is absolutely fair enough. I am upset. It's a poor result. We should beat Southampton, let alone lose. We should have, having come back twice, I understand why we were looking for the third, but we shouldn't have allowed ourselves to be caught so easily. However, I'm not despondent. I think, you know, it calls attention to some of the poor defending we've got away with. And I think it shows that personnel-wise, we do need reinforcement in January, particularly in that area. But it's all about how we respond to this. Um, You know, in the past, Arsenal teams, they might have had a good run. Then when they got one bad result, their heads would go down. We can't allow that to happen again. Uh, I know we've got the League Cup against Spurs on Wednesday that will be a rotated team because ultimately qualifying for the Champions League has to be our priority but hopefully we put in a much better performance and then when we have Burnley at home the, f- the following weekend in a week's time we simply have to win that game now you know this is a league where the top four are not going to drop many points those ultimately those Champions League teams are making sort of title setting pace almost at the moment so every point dropped is hugely costly um but it is about how we respond to this. And that's, I think, where we'll see maybe what Unai Emery and his team are really made of. I'll leave it there for now. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Bye-bye.